Good morning. Um, so I hadn't planned on doing Vlogmas, but I saw Southern Yankee post something from Vlogmas and I thought, what the hell? So <laughs> this video you guys are about to see is a video that I had originally planned on putting out on Thanksgiving day, but did not. Um, kind of thought maybe it might be something good for Vlogmas. It's not the most happy vlog because I am talking about a friend that we lost but it is happy because he has a wonderful legacy that he's left behind so anyway guys I hope you enjoy this um and I'm gonna try to do vlogmas we'll see what happens love you guys good morning so I'm sitting here in Kroger parking lot waiting time to, for me to go work out because she just lives up above the Kroger I'm at and I've been trying to record this video for you guys I wanted to talk about a good friend of mine who just passed away recently his name was Chayton he was 46 he died two weeks ago this coming Friday he and we had a big brain and he had your plane on the interstate rolled off the interstate and died on impact Pretty sure he did not have a seatbelt on. So people wear your seatbelt. Chayton, though, was not the type of person or the person when you would start first meet him that you would think would make an impact on hundreds of people's lives, if not thousands of people's lives. But he did. Chayton was a drug addict, a bad drug addict. And he picked himself off like at rock bottom and built his life back up he married a friend of mine that's how I met him to begin with and um with her prince charming he loved her twin girls like they were his own um like he he was those girls dad even though he wasn't their biologically dad he was their dad and him dying the way he did really left a hole in so many people's hearts and lives. I wanted to talk to him about him because when you looked at him, he was rough. He looked rough. He was tatted up, you know, which you know me, I've got tattoos. I don't, you know, I, like tattoos don't bother me but he looked I mean he was tied it up neck to toe pretty much and gauges in his ears I mean he looked like a rough guy and he was but he also had a heart of gold and he after he got himself clean he started working at Captain D's and while he worked himself up to where he was really running that Captain D's and then he left I went to the hospital system and worked in management in the cafeterias and that's actually when I got to know him the best when he moved even though he lived right across the street from me um when he started working at the hospital I worked at I got to really know him well then and he um yeah he was just amazing but then he left that job and then started his own construction company which was his dream to do. He called it rebuilt construction because he re rebuilt his life and he was good at what he did. He was a perfectionist. He worked on my house when we were getting ready to sell it, doing everything I needed, you know, done to sell it. He's worked on the new house. He, we actually were, were have, gonna have him do our deck this summer. It, he, he's a great guy. And one of the things about Chayton that he made a difference in my life was my mindset on about people with addictions and people with um, drug problems and that type of thing. You know, him and two other people in my life have um, turned their life around from addiction. And two of the three, well, all, all three of them, I've been close to. One of them I don't talk to very often anymore. And she's actually been on my heart. I need to message her. But 
the other two, you know, like Chait and, and the other one, I was pretty close to. One of them, I'm super close to. But, you know, I used to look at drug addicts as like, just get your shit together. You know, you did this to yourself. I don't feel bad for you. Just, you know, whatever happens to you, happens to you. You know, it's your own fault. You never should have done the drugs in the first place. You know, that was how I thought. And is that was that the right way to think? Absolutely not, especially as a Christian. But after meeting these three people, like, my mindset has changed. Like, drug addicts, drug addicts alcoholic addicts are people with problems. They are human just like the rest of us. And that drug addict or that alcoholic over there that you're judging could be your mom, your sister. It could be you. You know, it could be your dad. Um, you don't have to be, come from nothing to be a drug addict. You don't have, you can come from like having the best life, having parents that love you and raised you right, you know, to uh, becoming a drug addict. You know, like, I don't know what it is that triggers people to become addicts. But there is something in our bodies that, you know, some people that trigger them to become addicts. And the people that turn, like, that judge them and, you know, keep, well, you've, you know, you've tried to fix yourself X, Y, Z many times and you haven't. Keep trying. Like, every time they want to try to work, fix themselves, keep letting them try to fix themselves because it may be the time. It may be that time that they're like, it really sticks, you know, and they turn their lives around because it can be done. Being a drug addict or an alcohol addict or whatever addict you are does not make you a bad person. It makes you a sick person. A sick person, I mean, there is something wrong inside of you. And it's not something wrong like you're... It's a physical illness. And... I may not be putting these words together right at all, but when I see somebody now and I know they have an addiction issue or have pulled them up, themselves up from nothing as in a, with an addiction, I look at them completely different than what I ever did before. And, you know, I personally have never... I mean, I can tell you how many times I've smoked pot on one hand. But. Meeting. Chay and these two other people. They change my thoughts. And how I see addicts. And I just. Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. I'm a firm believer in that. And I just think that we need to make sure that we support the ones that we love. You know, no matter what it might be, you know, realize that nobody's promised tomorrow. So if somebody crosses your mind and you think, oh, I need to text them, text them, call them right then. Stop whatever you're doing and do it right then. Don't wait until... I'll think and I'll do it here in a minute. No, do it right then because if you wait, you're not going to do it. Perfect example is I have been thinking about someone for the last since Chayton passed away, actually, and I need to message them and I have not done it. And as soon as I get done doing this video, I'm going to do it. But I just, guys, show love and grace to people, don't judge. Because that could be you. It's not our place to judge anybody. And I know sometimes it's hard. It's hard. I catch myself judging people every day. But as I get older and I get wiser, I also catch myself thinking, Tiffany, that's not how, you know, just because that person looks that way or is doing that thing does not make them a bad person. You know? just 
We gotta love everybody, guys. We need more love in this world. And I just think that um, that's something that we all can work on. So, sorry to have a kind of down in the dumps video. But I wanted to um, just talk about Chayton a little bit. I just picked up some t-shirts that I ordered that were made in memory of him. That I got for Chris and I. So I'm... He's just, and he's just been on my mind a lot. His wife has been on my mind a lot. And, like, they were, <laughs> like, yin and yang. Like, he was a complete extrovert, you know. Talked to anybody. Did it though a stranger, you know. Was just one of those type of people. I think that's why him and I, he and I got along so well. Because we were on the same way. His wife, though, is not. She's very introverted. I mean, once she gets to know you, she's not, but she's very introverted. She keeps to herself, and she's very protective of her heart. And for her to have let Chayton in, I mean, that was the best thing probably that ever happened to her, I'd say, other than her girls. So, but anyway, I'm going to get off here and head up to go get my workout on. Guys, just be mindful, especially in this season that we're in right now. That not everybody has been blessed with what we've been blessed with. Not everybody has had the opportunities that we've had. Not everybody, um, you don't know what somebody's going through behind closed doors. Just because somebody's smiling doesn't mean that they're happy. Just because somebody's acting angry at you doesn't mean they're mad at you. They may have had something happen that morning at home, you know? Like, you just don't. We've got to stop the judging. It's not our place to judge. But on that note, I'm going to go. I love you guys, and I hope you all have a great day. And a happy Thanksgiving, and I will talk to you soon.